Welcome back for another episode. Today I'm going to talk about how to say workspace, load, and how to use variable editors. Here are the timestamps for each topic. You can jump in the topic that you want to watch. Without further ado, let's dive in. So in the main window, I have workspace here and command window and variable editor. If you cannot find it, go to window and then click the show workspace variable editor and command window if you cannot find it in the main window layout. The first question is, what is the workspace? Workspace is nothing more than collection of variable that you've been using. So for demonstration purpose, I'm going to create a three variables. The first variable will be x equal to 1. Variable will be a row vector. And then my last one will be a column vector. So as you can see, you have three variables x, y, and z under a workspace. You can also identify how many variables that you've been using by using the who, by typing who, that you have x and y and z. And then if you want to type whose, you can see the variable names followed by the size of memory that they took. Once you close your Octave or MATLAB, and then you're going to lose this workspace. You cannot reuse it later. I'm going to show you how to save the variables under the workspace so that you can load it back when you reopen Octave or MATLAB. So in order to save your workspace, you can use a built-in function name, save, followed by the file name that you want it to save at. So I use data.mat. The mat as a file extension stands for MATLAB compatible file extension. So when you hit enter, you can see prompt, but under a file browser, you can see data.mat has been created. Now, in order to load up, I'm going to clear out my all variables from the workspace so that you cannot see anything from here. Then you can load it back by using built-in function called load followed by file name that you want it to load from. When you hit the enter, you can load the variables from the files. For some reason, if you wanted to save only specific variables, you can use save followed by the file name. So in this case, I'm going to use data1.mat and space followed by only variable names that you want to save. So in this case, I'm going to save only x and y. When you hit the enter, then you can create another MATLAB file, data1.mat, on the current working directory. Then I'm going to clear out all the variables so that I don't see anything in the workspace. Then when you load data1, then you can see only x and y. Now I'm going to show you how to use variable editors. You can visualize the contents of each variable. In order to identify the variables, you can click any variable that you wanted to see. Then you can double click. Then you can see the information within the variable. So you can see the variable name, which is y. And then you have three ones as an element. So you can click and then right button. Either you can plot or a copy and then paste it in the different software. For example, in the Microsoft Excel, or you can type it in another element. Or you can edit it. So let's say 0 and minus 1. Then it will automatically update it. And then when you display the new updated variable, so you can see the changes. Hope this tutorial video found useful. And if you like, please subscribe and thumbs up. And I will see you next time.